Massacre is raising questions tonight about our gun laws. The shooter used an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. NBC 26's Raquel Amell spoke with local gun supporters and critics today. She continues our live team coverage. Well, an AR-15 is what killed 49 people in Orlando, killed dozens of little kids at Sandy Hook Elementary and moviegoers in Colorado. But while some are crying for tighter gun laws, others say it's a mental health problem. Oh my God. Continuous shots ring out in Orlando, killing 49 people, injuring 53, all coming from a gun like this. Once you load a round up into the chamber, every time you pull the trigger, it fires until it's empty. Nathan Oberg owns Fox Valley Firearms and sells AR-15s, the same gun used in several mass shootings. The gun itself is getting thrown under the bus as being to blame when any semi-automatic hunting rifle could have done the same thing. He says the background check for these is the same as any other gun. Fill out a form, answer a few questions, and if the FBI clears your background check, you get a gun, which is what gun violence prevention advocates say is the problem. People can purchase weapons online or at gun shows without any background check. So they're calling on lawmakers for action. And we really need legislators to step up, step away from the NRA's message, and to really give their attention to protecting the public. Two sides to a gun debate that has the country up in arms with each other. Now the gun dealer I spoke with in Appleton says he's already getting an increase in calls of people wanting AR-15s for fear of them being banned down the road. Keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.